Welcome to episode 10, Recipe for Disaster, part two of my old school RuneScape progression series. Really quickly before the video starts, I just wanna say that if you guys enjoy RuneScape content, please feel free to check out my channel. I post what I hope is really chill RuneScape content. I'm pretty chill about it. I just wanna have fun when playing the game. That's it, that's like my main goal with playing the game. You know, I, I just play the game to have fun, do my own thing and stuff like that. And I really quickly wanna say that as of the time of this video being recorded, only 42% of people who watch my videos are subscribed. So if you watch my videos, and enjoy them, please feel free to subscribe and also like the video if you want. And now with all that cliche stuff out of the way, let's get into the video. Apparently, I uh, I guess I looked up some of the information wrong. I do have 42 prayer because it's, it's just like a 28 because I was using it. But I need 52 mining. I also need 50 smithing for this quest. So I needed I need to get 10 more smithing levels. I don't know why I, I did 40. I must have saw 50 but only remembered 40 or something. I don't know. So yeah, I kind of messed up a little bit. So I got to continue working on some of these stats. And I also have to do Hero's Quest, which I have been putting off. But I'm obviously going to have to do. So uh, what do I need for Hero's Quest? Yeah, I got everything I need to do Hero's Quest. So honestly, I really need to just get a hero's quest out of the way at this point. I just need to suck it up and um, I'm going to have to ask somebody within the game for help because obviously you need two people to complete the quest. I only need 52 mining, uh, but I'm just going to take it to 60 because if I ever see a meat eater, me meat eater, a meteor again, I want to be able to mine it. So that's kind of like the main reason. So I'm just going to keep doing this till 60. Honestly, I I'm not sure why I'm at this spot. I think I'm going to switch over to the one in the desert where, there where there's three rocks so I can get uh, XP quite a bit quicker. This is cool. So the I guess this is from Underground Pass. You wait a bit and then you get a letter from this guy and then you can start the, uh, I don't know what the name of the quest is to be honest, but now I have officially started it. Uh, let me check here. It's uh, this one, Regicide. Okay, cool. So now that one is started and I have all the requirements for it and everything, but I'm not going to do it now, but either way I can. So that's cool. I'm just going to be here now. This is a, obviously a better spot to, to mine iron ore and get a little bit better XP. I'm just going to chill here until I get level 60 mining and then I'll uh, kind of move on and, and start doing other things, but just getting 60 mining will be nice to get out of the way. There is level 60 mining, so I can now move on from doing this. I, uh, yeah, that's nice. Like I said, now I can mine uh, meteors and stuff like that, and it's just good to have 60 mining out of the way. So I'm now going to get my smithing uh, to level 60, so I've done a bit of math with the Runelight client, and uh, I'll kind of continue as I go, but yeah, I'm going to try to get my, uh, not try, I'm going to get my smithing to 50 right now. I'm also just looking at the stuff that I've been smithing. If I alk it, I will lose less money. Like, no matter what, by doing this, I'm going to lose money, but if I choose to alk every Everything I smith, I'll lose substantially less money than if I just sell it back to the Grand Exchange. So once I'm done smithing to 50, I'm going to alk the stuff that I made to lose as little money as I possibly can. And at the bottom there, you can see 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49 smithing. And I'm about to be, after this inventory, 50 smithing. So that is done. And I'm now going to go back and elk all the stuff that I have smithed and hopefully not lose too much money. Alking all the stuff that I smith, smith, can't say that word apparently, as I've uh, said so many times. And there is also 70 magic because of all the alking that I've been doing lately. That is what I made from the alking. Now I paid what I'm going to check here. I think I paid about 500k. Uh, Yeah, roughly 550k. And I normally, I think I've, I only would have made 200k if I sold everything back, but I made 350k, so I lost a lot less than I otherwise would have. I also just did another clue scroll for a casket, and I, I literally got nothing for that one. Cool. And here's another medium clue scroll for, uh, worth 113k, what's worth? Oh, the dig site teleports. Okay, that's actually pretty good, to be honest. Those are worth quite a bit of money, so pretty good for a medium clue scroll. Finally doing it, finally doing what I have been putting off for such a long time, and that is starting Heroes Quest. I'm gonna go right here, and, uh, you can message people within this, uh, I guess, clan chat and try to get some help with Heroes Quest. So hopefully somebody can help me. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. It's probably not going to be that bad, honestly. And people are usually pretty nice uh, within here. So I'm going to do that and uh, hopefully finish this quest pretty quickly. And because I thought I hit record, but I didn't, I, uh, I did get help. Actually, it went super easy. Like I said, it took like two seconds to do it. And uh, there's Heroes Quest done. Somebody, w I forget the name of the person. I'm very sorry to whoever that is, but somebody was very nice, helped me get the key or killed the guard so then I could pick up the key. Anyway, Heroes quest is done and if you're looking for help on that quest you can just do what i did which is just use that clan chat osrs soa which stands for shield of avaron but apparently it also works for heroes quest so anyway heroes quest is done i'm in the heroes guild that feels good the next thing that i'm going to do is it says that i just have to start legends quest because i'm pretty sure that i have to go somewhere in the jungle but i might as well just finish it because i think it's more beneficial for me to finish legends quest i also have to get a bunch more quest points I'm only at 151 and I need 175 or something like that. Just looking at this here. So I have to have started Legends Quest, which I haven't done. 
So I'm gonna start and finish Legends Quest now. So I'm now just on the OSR's wiki, just checking off everything else that I have. And I do need 175 quest points to continue, or to, well, to finish the quest. And I only have like 150, so I'm gonna have to get more of those now. A quest that I wanna get done, because I think this is where you do birdhouse runs, is the Bon Voyage quest. And I need kudos to do that. So I'm just gonna kind of, uh, I don't, not work, but do some of this stuff here to get some kudos so I can actually get the Bon Voyage quest, uh, bon Voyage quest uh, done. So I need 100 to do Bon Voyage. I have 78, but I'm gonna get more. Uh, kudos by just doing more quests. So there's Temple of uh, Ikvo, or actually I guess it's more Temple of Akov. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. But anyway, 52 ranged, and that quest apparently gives you some kudos, so that's good too. Observatory quest is done for, oh, that's good, two quest points as well. I, I just did it for the kudos, but also two quest points is even better. I'm also going through my bank, and I just noticed that I have, obviously what I forgot to elk, like I obviously bought these on the Grand Exchange and forgot to elk it, and that's worth half a mil, so that will be nice to get some of that money back. All right, well, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name, but I'm just going to call it Little Helper is done for uh, two quest points and a bunch of stuff like that. I thought once you walked into the museum, your kudos were instantly there, but for some reason they're not. So I'm just going to check online as to why that's happening. So apparently you just have to talk to this guy upstairs. And then once you do that, he gives you your kudos uh, for the quests that you've done. So I should get some of them here. Yeah, there's 83. Okay, so this this is working. This is what I'm supposed to do. Okay, and, and apparently this conversation is done now and I've done a bunch of quests that give me well over what I need. So I have 113, I only need 100, so I can now do Bon Voyage and get that one done because, again, like I keep saying for farming runs and birdhouse runs, I'm pretty sure I need to have that one done to do birdhouse runs, and the goal is to get to that point soon, so I'm just going to throw these genie lamps on, uh, I, I don't really know right now, but anyway, so there's Bon Voyage done for one quest point and access to Fossil Island, which is the main reason that anybody would do this quest. Search of My Q is done for another two quest points. I'm doing quests that give me more than one, at least at this point, just so I can get as many as I can. There there is the Lost Tribe done. I think I'm going to do this quest line right now, the one that kind of ends with another slice of ham, uh, just because it's a pretty easy one and, and pretty quick, and it will get me hopefully uh, quite a few quest points here. So yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to do like Death to the Dorgan Dorganshaw. This quest line basically ends with another slice of ham. It's all kind of within Lumbridge, so it will be uh, just a good one to, to do. And there's Death to the Dorganshaw done. And finally, there is another slice of ham done, uh, which was actually very easy and for some reason I thought that it was longer and more difficult, but it definitely wasn't. Tears of Gothic's done. I also, thinking back, I think it's just H-A-M instead of ham, but I always say ham, even though I think it's just H-A-M. And there's Making History done for three quest points. That's actually really awesome. I did that one because it was pretty quick and easy, but the three quest points is always nice. Creature of Frankenstrain is done. All right, and once I, uh, I guess I, I dig up this dirt here or, or whatever I'm doing there, there's Mountain Daughter done for two quest points. You also get the, uh, I guess it's like a bear mask or whatever for uh, completing this quest. It's a super random quest that I've never done before or even heard of, but uh, Scorpion Catcher is done. Uh, I did it because it was pretty quick and it, it was, like it said on OSRS that it was or the OSRS wiki that it was quick and it was, so that's why I did it. I now also have 171 quest points. So now with all of that being done, I can uh, finally start Legends Quest. As you can see here, I have all the requirements to uh, get that quest done. So I'm all ready to go here. You start Legends Quest over, I guess in what I assume here is the Legends guild or something like that. But anyway, yeah, ready to go to uh, start this pretty long quest. I know that there is quite a few uh, like fights within this quest. So uh, yeah, anyway, I'm sure I think the first fight is coming up here pretty soon, but I know there's a bunch. So I'll probably just like, you know, show them all with like music playing over it or something like that, just because I don't know, there's probably no reason for me to show to show with me doing commentary over it's something pretty easy. I, I don't know. Anyway, I, yeah, I'll, I'll just cut to a bit of a montage, I guess, until this quest is done.
that was the last quest boss monster that I have to kill, I believe. So that's pretty much the end of the quest. That was a bunch of fights that I had to do. But uh, yeah, and definitely a long quest. Not as bad as some people say, but certainly not the uh, not the worst quest. But I think that's pretty much it. I think it's done. I think I, I can just return to the Legends Guild or, or whatever it's called. And I can actually finish the quest. So yeah, that, that's really nice. All right, so now I should just be able to go over here, talk to this guy inside here. And that should pretty much be it for this quest. I think that this quest should be done now. Oh, cool. So I can put some stuff on different things. I'm just going to throw it on defense because that's the next stat that I want to get up to 70 is defense. So I'm just going to throw some on defense. You know, I'll mix it up a bit. I'll throw some on, um, I'll throw some on prayer. Why not save some money? So, um, still have two more that I can do here. Throw some more on defense and what else? I'll also throw some on agility because why not mix it up a little bit? So there it is. Legends quest complete for four quest points, which is actually awesome. And then obviously access to the legends guild and then the XP amongst a bunch of stats and also a total of a hundred and and 75 quest points, which is what I need to complete Recipe for Disaster. I still think I'm going to get a few more quest points before I actually complete it, but now that is completely out of the way, I have all the quest points that I need. I'm going to explore the Legends Guild here a little bit. I, I've never really done that. I've honestly never been in here before, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to explore it and, and see what there is here. All right, so what can I buy from this person? Uh, Rune Arrows. Yeah, just, you know, again, if you're an Iron Man, I could see why this place is, is good to have. What's up here? This dude here. Actually, can you buy? I think there's something good you can buy from this guy. Yeah, the Cape of Legends. And uh, that's actually pretty good, isn't it? 675 coins. Isn't that, like, as good as the Obsidian Cape or, like, basically the same for obviously a lot less i'm just gonna look at the stats here okay so the, it looks like there's a difference of two and basically everything so the, the obsidian cape is a little bit better but i'm gonna wear the legends cape because i feel like i had to earn that like i would take more pride in wearing what i earned than the obsidian cape these the obsidian cape is like 500k and the legends cape is 675k or not k 675 coins compared to 500k plus you actually had to earn the legends cape so i feel better wearing that to be honest i'm gonna wear this one i'm gonna sell the obsidian cape because uh this is my new cape i feel way more proud to be wearing this one to be honest anyway so that's pretty cool that's actually a really nice reason to have completed the uh, legends quest like i said i'm gonna quick i'm gonna elk the um the, the green dragon hide that i have to make a little bit more money I'll, I'll, I'll get about 500k putting me at 200 mil i'm also going to sell this obsidian cape here because i have the cape of legends and it, it feels cooler, man. I don't know. I know the Obsidian Cape is technically a little bit better, but I feel like I had to earn that Legends Cape, so I'm just going to sell this for... I'll go up a little bit. 412k, see what happens, and I'll just leave it there for a bit. I'm not in a huge rush for that money, but definitely will be nice to get it eventually. So yeah, I'm going to buy some nature runes here and uh, elk this 127, I guess. Now, unless I've done something wrong, I am ready to start the final part for Recipe for Disaster to complete the quest and get myself Barrow's Gloves. Well, I kind of said that wrong in the last clip. I can finish this part of the quest and then proceed to the the final boss battle of the quest and then get Barrow's Glove. So I, I was kind of ahead of myself in the last clip there, but I can get this one done now. Apparently I have to kill a chicken here for this, this part of the quest. I think I've made a big mistake here because they seem to be hitting through prayers, which they are. And apparently my ego is too big and I thought that I didn't need any food here. So I'm not fully sure what's going to happen. I feel like I might have to redo this because I think I have to kill two things in here. I also think I have to kill like a, a really high level dragon or something and I don't have food and they seem to be hitting through prayers, although not right now. But anyway, I hope I I, I, I hope I can do this without having do this without having to come back because that would be such a dumb mistake to not have brought food. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I, I feel like there, there's not a lot that I can do here. I gotta run. I'm gonna have to come back. Hopefully, I won't have to kill the chicken again. But yeah, th these guys are gonna kill me here. So I gotta leave, get some food, and come back. I didn't have to kill the chicken again. That guy is gone. Food obviously helped. I now take the, uh, what was that there? The dragon token or whatever it is. Use all this stuff together. And then I, obviously whatever I'm making, I will then use on the guy to finish the final part. 
I also need a vanilla pod. I don't know where I get that. I'm gonna have to look that up right now. Apparently you get it over here in uh, the desert, I guess. And then you just kind of use all these on each other. Okay, cool. Fair enough. I figured it out. <laughs> the OSRS wiki pretty much helps with everything. And I'm so happy that it exists because I feel like as a kid, it didn't. Or if it did, I definitely didn't know how to use it. So I struggled so much more playing this game as a kid than I do now. I feel like everything is so much clearer now. But uh, anyway, yeah, that, that's all good and done. This is a part that I didn't know was coming. What's happening here? I, I hope I don't have to fight anybody because I'm literally wearing full graceful. Equip your ice gloves and rub the dragon token in Lumbridge. Okay. I really hope that this is not another like boss battle here because if so, I will be dead for sure. Okay. I took some damage. Was that zero or was that damage? I don't know. I didn't even pay attention to that. Now I'm a little scared. Okay, good. No, there's there's no fight. Okay, I'm safe. It's all good. So I just have to use this here and finish that portion of the quest, which means pretty much everybody has been freed. I just now have to do the final boss battle of this quest and it will be done and I will have Barrow's gloves, which is honestly really awesome. And at this point too, I also have uh, up to dragon gloves unlocked. What's the price on them here? 130k. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I'm going to go for barrows like now anyway, but still that's good to know. Apparently I was wrong and I have to actually have desert treasure complete for the final uh, boss battle uh, within recipe for disaster. So yeah, that that's going to be a challenging quest. I, I've never done it actually, to be honest, but I know people always talk about how it's a little bit of a difficult quest. I also have to do a bunch of quests to be able to complete desert treasure. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do them right now <laughs> and then get recipe or desert treasure done and then get to the final fight of recipe for disaster. So yeah, I, I don't know why there, for some reason I didn't know I had to have desert treasure done. Not that it's a problem because I'll get it done, but I just thought that I would, I guess I got a little bit ahead of myself. <laughs> and like I was saying before, I don't know, sometimes I like playing in full screen. I think the game just looks so visually nice in full screen and you know, I'm just chilling, listening to some music. So I'm going to play in full screen while I'm doing that and, uh, start doing some of these quests here. So there's death plateau toe done for uh, one quest point, 3,000 attack, and uh, some steel claws, and the ability to make claws, which I is cool. I, I never knew that. Also, 177 quest points, but uh, more importantly, I guess one of the quests that I have to do to get to Desert Treasure. Troll Stronghold done for one quest point, and a Law Rune, so that's cool, I guess, or a Law Talisman, I guess. I feel like I wanted to show this because here's a good comparison of what the Grand Exchange shows prices for, for what Rune Light shows them for. So the Grand Exchange there, you could see, was like 82 coins, and Rune Light is saying that they're actually trading more for like 346 coins. So that's just a good example of how Rune Light sometimes is a little bit more accurate. I'm at the point now where I'm ready to go, ready to start and hopefully finish Desert Treasure relatively quickly. I know that there's some pretty difficult boss battles within this quest, and I know I say it so many times, but that will likely be the most challenging one that I have so far, until what I assume will be Recipe for Disaster. But it's all good. I'm not a hardcore Iron Man, so if I die, it's all good and I can just restart. So that's good. I'm gonna get this one done now though. So this fight is like just about to be over. I was way more concerned about the final fight because that's the one everybody talked about being the most difficult. But I'm going to say that on my time with this account, does that make any sense? It makes enough sense. But that was the closest this account has ever come to dying, I think for sure. Like I'm actually at the point where I'm kind of low on food. My prayers weren't doing anything. That was probably the most difficult uh, fight on the account that I've had to this point, up to this date, I guess. Uh, not that it was that hard or anything because I still did it, but you know, I didn't expect that to be that challenging. I expected it to be more challenging later on, not so challenging at that point. Anyway, <laughs> you know what? I actually got that sooner than I thought I was. I, I used like 25 lockpicks only. So I'm getting 
close. I have to kill five of these ice trolls before I can then move on to the actual final boss battle, which I think is the final one in this quest, if I'm not mistaken. Normally, I'm using slay music for these quest guides. I'm not, I still do sometimes, but for this one, I'm just using the quest helper. And when I'm using slay music, he's usually telling you like, you know, oh, this is the final part of the quest, or this is the final part to this part. So normally I would know more, I guess, about how much more I have left of the quest to do. So by using the quest helper, obviously you don't know that. So I think this is the final boss battle for this quest. And this is the one that I was the most afraid to do because uh, everybody has talked about this one being the most challenging. So far, it's not too bad. It's kind of annoying that like all my stats are being drained. But aside from that, it, right now, it's all good. It's all chill. So uh, yeah, we'll kind of see how this one goes. Because so far, the second one of this quest, the second boss battle of this quest was by far the most difficult one. The f other ones well, haven't really been that challenging, but Anyway, yeah, we'll see how this one goes, I guess. Right there where that arrow is, that's the that's the final boss, right? Why is it not showing up for me? Okay, there, kind of, I guess it's a little bit, I don't know, it wasn't really rendering fully there. Level 154 only. This is the one that people stress about. Let's see if I can handle this one. I'm, I'm not super concerned because getting here wasn't too bad, but we will see. He's obviously gonna freeze me and hit five, but anyway, let's do this here. <laughs> So far, this this has actually not been challenging like at all. Apparently, if you just stand right up to him, he just hits you. So I'm just using protect from melee, and pretty much seems like there's nothing he can do. That was easy. So so far, the only one that was really challenging was the second one. The I think there was four, so the other three were really easy. So yeah, that's that's good. The stress of this quest is out of the way, I guess. And this ice path, honestly, this looks kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. And the fact that you're wearing those like spiky boots, kind of funny. I don't know. It's like this is cool. I don't know this this ice bridge. You know, it, it seems uh I don't know. It's fun to look at. I guess I don't know. Like that looks cool, I think, right? There's like an overwhelming amount of stuff on my screen right now. So uh, yeah, I think I'm going to switch to full screen because at this point, sometimes playing on a fixed screen, it's just so small that it can get taken over very quickly by all these... I guess widgets or whatever they're called. Yeah, okay, playing at full screen is a little bit better. This is a massive thing that is showing up in the middle of the screen though. I'm, I'm just gonna move it. Uh, so that's a little bit better now, a little more manageable. So I'm just gonna chill at full screen for a little bit here so I can actually see what I'm doing. I have a feeling I'm getting pretty close to the end here. I think I'm probably just gonna, like I've gotten all the diamonds. I'm gonna use them where they're supposed to be used. Then I probably gotta go like inside the temple and do something uh, from what I imagine. And then the quest is probably done. Honestly, not too bad. I'm never really worried about any quest in the game, but just as some of them get harder and harder, like I've done a lot of quests in RuneScape, but I obviously haven't done all of them. So there's obviously going to be a part of me that's just like, you know, a little unsure of how it's going to go. And you know, this one was one of them, of course, but yeah, overall it, it went pretty smoothly. I'm, you know, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm just about done this quest here. I just have to use this final diamond on this pillar or whatever it is. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens from there. Just have to like run through this maze, which playing on full screen is actually a, a really big benefit here. Cause I can see a lot easier as to where I'm going. And also these strange fruits, have been kind of nice, you know, they were free and they actually heal like a pretty a decent amount of energy, so...
So there's Desert Treasure complete for three quest points, 20,000 magic XP, pretty good. Uh, and then also, obviously, I have access to the uh, the other spell book. I think you used to have to come here to change it, but now you can just go to like a, a, another player owned house and change it or like change it within your own house. But anyway, I know that's like the main reason why people do Desert Treasure is for that spell book that I just changed there. That is a, uh, it's honestly a good quest to get out of the way. I'm happy it's done. And now I can go and actually start the recipe for disaster fights and get that quest done, and then get to the end of this massive goal of getting Barrow's Gloves. I am using a Slayer Music Guide for this part of the quest. I've never done these fights, so what I'm doing is I'm just, he has a video on it. I'll put a link for it in the description. He has a video breaking down the best ways to, you know, kind of fight these bosses and kill them, so I'm watching his guide. Apparently the first one's pretty easy here, but uh, anyway, yeah, I'm likely just going to do a montage. I, I feel like it's pretty, you know, it's not something that I need to break down super detailed. You you'll see it in a montage how I'm doing it, and if you really want to know how to do it more detailed like i said the link for it will be in the description i i tend to just speed up the boss fights obviously i'm not right now because i'm talking at this current moment uh, let me just adjust this volume here so i can hear it i know you guys can't hear it but i'll be able to hear it myself anyway yeah so i, I just don't tend to show me talking through them because honestly when i'm doing it when it's my first time doing a boss battle on a certain part of the game i just don't know how it's going to go down so i'm usually not talking that much so it's kind of boring i figure it's better to just speed it up put some music over it and, and make myself look a little better i guess so yeah that's probably what you're going to see for the uh next however many fights are there's like six or seven or something like that so you, yeah i'm just gonna do like a, a sped up montage of those fights and yeah anyway this one is going pretty easy so far i think this is like the easiest one though so it's gonna get more challenging as as time goes on And that was actually one of the easier fights. I think the last fight might have been the easiest fight, but that is it. That is the final fight of this quest done. And that's it for the quest. Now recipe for disaster is 
officially done at this point. There it is, recipe for disaster done. One quest point, an antique lamp. I don't know how much XP I'll get from that antique lamp, but I'm sure quite a few uh, points or XP points or whatever it is. But the main reason, obviously, to finish the quest is Barrow's Gloves. As far as I know, that's best in slot pretty much for the entire game or for a long time. I actually don't know if there is any other gloves that are best in slot. But anyway, yeah, getting Barrow's Gloves done is huge. It's something that I wanted to do pretty much early on. It, it was something that I knew I wanted to get out of the way. Uh, I guess I don't want to say out of the way because it's fun to do it. I enjoyed the process to get to it. But it's something that I wanted to get on the account pretty early. So now I can also upgrade. The last time I was training my combat stats, I was literally using a combat bracelet. So going from a combat bracelet to Barrow's Gloves is going to be awesome. So there's Barrow's Gloves. And it feels good to wear them. I feel like that took a while. It, it took time to earn it. I, I feel happy to be wearing them because you really had to earn that. And I guess that's the satisfaction of, um, well, I'm not an Iron Man on this account, but obviously being an Iron Man and having to earn everything, it, it does genuinely feel better. Kind of like the Legends cape and the Obsidian cape. The Obsidian cape is a little better, but the Legends cape or the Cape of Legends feels better to use because you have to earn it. But anyway, it feels great to have earned those Barrow's gloves. So that's it. Recipe for Disaster is done and it, it feels pretty good to have such a good upgrade. That's going to do it for episode 10 and also finish out the Recipe for Disaster quest and I, I guess kind of mini series that I've done within this series. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, please feel free to like and subscribe and check out my channel. I think I post pretty chill, down-to-earth RuneScape content. I just try to have fun with it. I don't do anything crazy. I'm just playing for fun and just doing what I want within the game, you know, not taking anything too seriously or anything like that, just trying to have fun with it and stuff like that. So that's the content, I guess, that I post. So if you like stuff like that, please feel free to check out my channel and subscribe. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.